At the University of Colorado Hospital, we consistently had 50 to 60 ICU patients each day with COVID-19 through April of 2020. We had prepared for this surge in patient volume by creating a multidisciplinary group of intensivists, which included colleagues from pulmonary medicine, anesthesia, and trauma surgery. A number of us take care of trauma, transplant, and cardiothoracic surgical patients and routinely use the thromboelastogram, or TAG, as a tool to analyze clotting issues in whole blood. As we helped care for these patients with COVID-19 and read more and more reports of serious blood clotting issues in patients in China and Italy, we began drawing TAGs to try to figure out which of these critically ill patients were at highest risk for complications due to blood clots, so that we could more aggressively provide blood thinning medications to mitigate these risks. Previous studies from patients with COVID-19 show clots in numerous small blood vessels in the lung and kidneys, as well as larger clots in major arteries and veins. In our study, we found that the most predictive variables for clot formation were an elevated D-dimer level combined with a complete shutdown of fibrinolysis or natural clot breakdown as seen on the TAG. Patients with both of these factors had a much higher rate of blood clot, clots and kidney failure and the TAG parameters provided better insight into which patients would clot than conventional coagulation tests did. This is an early observational study that focuses attention on identifying specific issues with blood clotting abnormalities seen in patients in COVID-19. It suggests that early and aggressive blood thinning medication may have a role in preventing complications and encourages further research into therapy specifically designed to break down blood clots which have already formed. We are currently participating in a multi-center clinical trial on using TPA or clot buster medication to treat patients with severe COVID-19 disease, which our results support as a potentially useful therapy.